In this video, I'm going to show you how to make GPT-4 and other large language models up to 50% smarter. Hi, I'm Matt, one of the founders of AirOps, and today's video is all about one of the most powerful AI prompting techniques. That is chain of thought prompting. If you need to solve really complex problems with large language models, like generating complex technical content or writing highly personalized communications to executives, then you should be using chain of thought prompting. Today, we're going to break down how to use chain of thought prompting in the AirOps platform, where we make it easy to build multi-prompt workflows in a flash. After watching this video, you'll be able to understand what chain of thought prompting is and when to use it, how to combine chain of thought prompting with other prompting best practices like user assistant pairs, and easily add chain of thought prompts to your AI workflows within AirOps. Let's dive in. All right, let's demonstrate chain of thought prompting from within the AirOps platform. To do this, we are going to use a workflow that analyzes contracts for non-standard terms and clauses. So if you are getting ready to sign a, a contract for a piece of software or some other type of transaction, you can use this to have an LLM analyze it for you know, non-standard terms that you might want to negotiate out. So it's pretty simple. It takes a contract in PDF or TXT form and then generates the analysis and identifies the uh, potentially non-standard term. Under the hood, it's also again pretty simple. The input variable is the contract and we have one LLM step which we'll dive into in a second and then it outputs into a markdown form. Within this LLM step, you'll notice we are using a GPT-4 Turbo. The 128K context window here allows it to take the sort of entirety of the contract and analyze it. We're also gonna click Request Consistent Results. This is a, an AirOps feature that helps you generate kind of consistent outputs depending on the prompts that you have. You'll notice that we have an assistant prompt. This is one of the best practices to getting consistent outputs and structures from an LLM. So let's try running this we'll, we'll save this publish it and then run the app i have a file here that we'll include and then we'll run this all right so here we go we've gotten a, quite a few potentially non-standard contract items it doesn't look like it's provided a ton of detail on why and, and kind of what the implications are let's modify this prompt in order to get the type of uh, outputs and analysis and level of rigor that we were hoping so in order to do this, uh, we actually set up another version of this workflow. It works exactly the same as, as this version, except that there are some modifications to the prompt that we'll dive into in just a second. So if we go back to the LLM, you'll notice it's set up uh, exactly the same. We'll turn on request consistent results. But the, the, the changes here, there's a subtle change to the system, system prompt that's quite important. We're going to say, when analyzing contract excerpts, first identify key clauses and their implications, then compare them with standard practices in SAS contracts, highlight any discrepancies or non-standard elements in your analysis. So this chain of thought logic will help the LLM to reason in a more structured way, and that will then yield better, better output. So the system prompt, we give that instruction, and then in the user assistant pairs, we'll also carry that through. So here, review the following contract excerpt and identify any non-standard language that you would not typically be included in a standard SaaS software contract. Here's where the chain of thought prompting starts. Begin by outlining the usual terms, then analyze the excerpted clause, focusing on each element of the clause, compare these elements with standard SaaS contract terms, and explain why any differences you identify might be considered non standard So that little bit of instruction is gonna help us generate a much better and more consistent and more high quality output from the LLM. And then here uh, in the assistant pair, um, we're also going to provide the output that would show you know, what you would want to see given that level of depth and that step-by-step -step reasoning that we have. And then the call for the uh, PDF uh, comes last. So we're gonna save changes and publish this app. We'll run this. We'll select the exact same contract we did in the first and let's see what the output entails. All right, so here we go. So now we are getting, first off, a list of standard uh, SaaS contract terms that we should look for. This is also helpful if we're looking for you know, standard terms that might be omitted. A term for convenience could be a good example of that. 
and then it also analyzes the standard provisions included and provides a conclusion in order to sum things up. So again, a much more helpful, much more thorough output. And the key to this was providing that step-by-step -step logic that we wanted the LLM to walk through, otherwise known as chain of thought. You can find this template and many more uh, on the AirOps website as you're getting started with building with large language models. Thanks for tuning in. Today we covered chain of thought prompting, what it is and when to use it, how to combine it with user assistant pairs to get even higher quality outputs from your LLM workflows, and how to use chain of thought prompting within AirOps for use cases like long form content creation and preparing for your sales calls. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have a great video about memory stores that you should watch next that we'll link to on the screen. Lastly, if you wanna go deeper, sign up for our builder program or check out any of the templates that we walk through today at airops.com. Thanks.